Good evening. Thanks for joining. Hey, another day of a healthy meal on the griddle. All right, what we're going to make tonight is a Swedish meatball with edamame noodles or pasta. I hope I'm saying that right. So let me go over the ingredients real quick. All right, we have our milk and we have a flour. Uh, this ingredient right here is we're going to make the gravy for the Swedish meatball. All right, so we have the milk, we have the flour. We have black pepper, parsley, butter, soy sauce, Dijon mustard, chicken broth. All right, so this is, I hope I'm saying it right. If I'm not, I'm not, I don't even know if I am saying it right, but I will put it in the description below. It's, let me break out. It's Idama Mami. Dude, pasta, it's uh, supposed to be the best pasta out there, especially if you're the type of uh, person that wants to go low carb, high protein type of diet. So use this. And then of course we have our meatballs, okay. Uh, let me show you how I made these meatballs, okay. The ingredients you'll need. All right, we have two pounds of ground beef, two eggs, Five uh, saltine crackers, uh, crushed. All right, we just crushed it. Then we have uh, six cloves of garlic, a quarter onion, and we have our pepper, our milk, and we have oil. Uh, we're gonna use rice bran, all right? So here's what you're gonna have to do. You're gonna have to mix all that up mix it up and then create a ball. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna put the garlic in there. And the quarter onion, put it all in there. Smash the one egg. All right, two eggs. Saltine crackers, just smashed. Put a little bit of pepper. A double shot of milk. making meatballs. It's all mixed up. Alright, there's our first one. Have our meatballs. I am gonna chill it for for a little bit. I'll probably put it in the freezer for about 45 to an hour, and then uh, I'll meet you guys back here back uh, at the grill. All right, that's how you make meatballs. So the first thing we're gonna do while it's heating up, is take advantage of it, and we're gonna put our skillet, and we will put about a quarter butter on it. So while it's cooking, you can cover it. So we have our butter melting. Okay, so let's put our flour on there. And we're just gonna put two spoons. Then we're gonna put a cup of chicken broth. There's one cup. Then 
Then one cup of milk. All right, so I'm ready to put the pasta into the skillet. So I'm gonna give it a little bit of pepper. I'm ready to put pasta in there. I'm just gonna mix it in there. This is the first time I actually had to use this kind of pasta. But from what my friend told me, it's supposed to be a great substitute. So we'll see. I will put in the um, description below if it was delicious or not. Oh yeah, I think we're done. Yeah, the meatballs are pretty firm, pretty solid. All right, basically all we're gonna do is put the meatballs in there. Thank you for joining. Okay, if you have any questions or suggestions, please comment below. Uh, and if you haven't subscribed, subscribe. And also if you like this video, give us a like. All right, have a good night. Bye.